Hey VC, how's it going? Um, I made my first official VC haul today. My record haul. I got these at a flea market, so flea market haul. Um, I got several. I spent a lot of money and I may have overspent for what's in here, but I'm not sure until I get them out of the box. I show them to everybody. And I would really appreciate some feedback as to what I got. And if you can help me identify them further because I'm very new at it. I looked at all the serial numbers and I typed it in on Discogs as much as I could. And some of it I found, some of it I didn't find. So there might be some, some, some distinctive marks that help define them further. To get a more accurate price range on how much they would go for if I were to sell them. Or how much they're worth, period. So, here we go. First one. First one is bread. Lost without your love. Oops. A little blurry here. Sorry about that. Turn the auto focus off. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. Okay, anyway. Best, or it's a bread that lost without your love. It is a gatefold. I don't know if you can see that or not. I apologize if you can't. It's a gatefold. It's got all of the information on the inside. It's got all the lyrics and such. The cover is not in the greatest condition. There's a couple of ripped spots where the where the picture has been ripped off. It's it's incomplete, but it's it's completed, but it, there's no holes, but it's been ripped like price tag rippage. Um, but yeah, it's gatefold. Uh, the record itself is in really good condition. It's in a just a plain white uh, inner jacket. The record itself is in, I don't know if you can see it well. I'll turn this light on so maybe we can see it a little better. The record itself is in really good, decent condition. It's got some dust on it, so... I'll have to clean it, but it's it's in really good shape uh, for my eyes eyes anyway. Uh, like I said, I don't know much about it, but I figured you guys can help me, uh, which I would really appreciate if you did. Okay. Next album is uh, Judy Collins. It's Judy Collins. The cover is a little banged up. It's got a notch on the top, cut notch. Uh, it is it is not a gatefold. It is just a regular album cover. Um, it is her album. It's called Hard Times for Lovers. The cover is a little suggestive. So you've got the front cover here like this. Let's see it. And then uh, the back cover, of course, is, you know, that. A little risque, but the music is what counts. Anyway, it's got a nice other picture of her on the back. And the same as on the front, on the jacket cover. Same on the front and back, I think. Yeah. Um, got all the info on the back of it. All this band information, who played on it and such. The inner jacket is okay. It's in decent shape. But the record itself is in really good condition. It's got some smudges. Got a little dust. So I think once I clean it, it'll be really nice. But that's that's that one. Get it up real quick. Okay. Next one <clears throat> is... Jimmy Spiris, Ports of the Heart. Uh, I didn't find very much info on this one, but it had it's the covers in decent shape. Uh, the LP is pretty decent. It's I think it like I said I think it's got smudges on it. it. May have a little scratch, but it looks like maybe hopefully it won't be too bad of a scratch to play it. 
it won't skip hopefully. Um, but it's it's in decent shape and it's like I said, it's Jimmy Spears Ports of the Heart. <clears throat> Front cover. Here, can you see a little better? Front cover. Back cover. It's got all the info on it. All the all the uh, producer credits and the song titles and all that good stuff. So it looks like it's a pretty good record. Hopefully, it will be. I have to wait to get a record player before I can play any of these to check them out uh, more thoroughly. Third record, Jackson Brown, uh, Lawyers in Love. It's um, it's in really good shape. The, the jacket's in really good shape. The record is in really good shape. There's a really cool kind of inner jacket, kind of a trippy polka dot or uh, L-shaped, really close together. Almost dizzying effect on the back. Kind of make your eyes go goofy if you look at it too long. <clears throat> but it really doesn't have any distinctiveness on the... Uh, the inner jacket doesn't have anything distinctive on it. Um, it was Asylum Records. Um, but, you know, it's, it's in good shape. I don't know what it's worth. I know Jackson Brown was... Hugely popular in the 70s and early 80s. And all that. That Southern Rock kind of vibe that he gave off. Good quality record. Another Jackson Brown. Hold Out is it. Um, like I said, it's it's got... It's the uh, lyrics and everything is right on the cover. Or on the inner cover. Like that. See? And, um, the, uh, the record, it's in good shape. These are both, these were both in really good shape today when I got them. I thought they were anyway. Uh, in more, more professional eyes might be able to help me with the distinguishing of the album. Uh, and ask questions, please, uh, if you would. Because, like I said, I don't know much about grading records. I can always look in my... 10 year old book and do that but I would rather have a more accurate description and more accurate appraisal so like I said help me out if you can VC I would much appreciate it but this is a good I like Jackson Brown I think he's pretty cool he's I like him because he's he's kind of along the lines of that Eagles you know Poco kind of vibe that real easy good stuff good good rock Loggins and Messina, the best of friends, is number whatever we're up to now. Anyway, best of friends. Um, it's got an inner jacket, <clears throat> just a plain kind of yellowish. I don't know if that might be a white one to begin with, but over time, you know, kind of yellowy maybe. Um, it is on the Columbia label. Uh, it's in good shape. Got some. We had a little scratch, but not nothing, nothing too major. Uh, a lot of dust. So again, a cleaning will be in order for that. Um, but it's a. It, I like Loggins and Messina. I like the old stuff that they used to do. I don't know when this one was released. It. Uh, it does say this album contains previously released material, so it's nothing, nothing special probably about it. Other than it's just a mainstream. Login to Messina, uh, released. Um, it's, uh, you can see the front and the back. Cool little pictures on the front and back. Um, it's got all the, all the, uh, lyrics and stuff on the back. Uh, it was a 76 recording. 1976, that's the year my mother was born. Uh, but like I said, I don't know much about them. So, any help would be awesome. <clears throat> uh, Mudslide Slim. Now, this one I've heard a lot about. I, I know a lot of a lot of people that like James Taylor really treasure this album. And I don't know if 
it's a rare album. I don't know. Uh, it's it's dusty. It's kind of banged up. It's not bad. Uh, it's a gatefold like this. It's got lyrics on the inside. Um, the album jacket on the inside, the inner jacket, has got all the producer credits, things of that nature. On the back, it's got an advertisement for the biggest bargains on record. Uh, Warner, Warner Reprise, Lost Leaders, just an advertisement for some other records, apparently. Um, it's a gatefold, I don't know if I said that already. My video is kind of long here, I hope it doesn't cut me off or anything on YouTube. <clears throat> anyway, it's decent, it's it's in decent shape. I mean, the cover's a little worse for where it looks like, but but the album itself looks to be okay. We're barely scratching the surface. I'll try to run through them a little quicker. Uh, Barbara Mandrell, Love is Fair. Right here. Back cover. It's just got a... It just has a regular white um, dust jacket, or inner jacket with the RCA, or MCA label. Excuse me. MCA label. It's in really good condition. I like Barbara Mandrell. She's a real talented uh, musician as well as singer. She plays everything. Literally everything. Um, next one. Idol Maker. The Idol Maker. It was an original soundtrack. Uh, I don't know much about the movie, so... My... It... You know, the guess is up to you guys as to how much it's worth. It's in decent shape. It's, um... It's back cover. Front cover. It's, it's not bad. I mean, you know, for what it is. I don't know much about this... I don't know anything about this movie, so I'll have to do some determining. That way, it's on the A and M uh, label. Good condition. At least I think it's good condition. But it's it's it was a cool find today. Okay. Next, I'm gonna buzz through these real quick if I can. Uh, Encore by Mickey Gilly. Nineteen. 80 cover or out, uh, recording 1980. <clears throat> it's got a the box is a little tore up, so I'll have to glue that. But other than that, I think the record was in decent shape. It was uh, looks like it's in a nice inner jacket. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's got some smudges, but there's no scratches, thankfully. Um, so once it gets cleaned up, I think it'll play really nicely. I hope. Because I like Mickey Gilly. Mickey Gilly's kind of that roadhouse, that honky tonk country. You know, he had Gillies in Texas, that big nightclub, biggest one of the biggest nightclubs uh, in America. So he's very successful. Jerry Lee Lewis's cousin, uh, Jimmy Swaggart's cousin. You know, preacher. So there's that. <clears throat> this is Barry Manilow's. Uh, second album, second album, Barry Manilow, in good condition. It's on Arista Records, so that'll be interesting. I like, I kind of like, you know, just relaxing and listening to Manilow. Pretty cool deal. I've got two Manilow records uh, today. This one, and I'll show you another one in a bit. Anyway, front cover, back cover, Barry Manilow, number two. Um, Bay City Rollers. Now, this album here, I don't know. I mean, I know they're foreign and whatever. It's got a Arista jacket. Um, I got it for a dollar, so. Arista jacket, really good condition vinyl. So, it's, uh, that'll be fun to listen to. I don't know if it's got any of the hits on it. <clears throat> I'm sure one or two's on there. But, uh, that'll be fun. But it's a gatefold. Got a cool live shot of a crowd on it. Right there. Cool deal. Dude's looking at the camera like, can you believe this stuff? <clears throat> okay. So, next. This one was completely sealed. I can't find any information on it, the VC members will have to help me, and please, like I said, please do, 
it is, I don't, I don't know how you say it, I don't know if it's, the guy's name is Storm, and the album is called Seymour, or what, I'm not sure, but here's the front cover, and the back cover, like I said, it's sealed, so I can't get into the, the jacket, the inner jacket, so I would assume it's all in good, good condition, because it's never been opened, so that's that, <clears throat> next one, America, uh, hat trick, it's got some writing on it, Bob somebody, anyway, I could probably buff that out if I need to. Might make it more distinctive. Um, but anyway, it's called Hat Trick. It's a, not a gatefold or anything. It's just a regular album. Good condition. Good playable condition. It's, uh, got a blue, like a blue, uh, cool, like palm trees or so, whatever this is. One of these kinds of trees. I don't know. Whatever that is. That's kind of wicked looking. Kind of cool. I'd say everybody in the VC that collects a lot of records probably has this one already, so you can probably tell me more about it than I can. <clears throat> and I don't have to say much about it, because America was a big band in the 70s. Next. The new bro the Brothers 4, A New World's Record. Now, this one I couldn't find hardly anything on. I can only assume that it might be rare. I don't know. It's got it's got a, like a clear plastic uh, inner sleeve. <clears throat> the uh, record itself is in really good shape for being what it is. It's on the Columbia label. So, like I said, you guys might have it too. Somebody, somebody might have it and can give me some info on it. Which is kind of cool. Um, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to keep any of the or all of these. I haven't decided yet. I probably will for now. Uh, but as it comes down the line, I may did part with it, you know, who knows, kind of take it as it goes, day by day. Another Brothers 4 called Try to Remember. Again, not much info on, on them. This one gave me a little more info, but it, I think it said it was worth like $15 or something like that, mint condition, and I don't know, you know, how they would clarify mint. I would have to look in my book as to tell me all that good stuff, or somebody in the VC can help me with it. Anyway, the Jacket's a little, eh, the jacket's a little torn up, not bad. The record's in really good shape, so that's what counts most. Um, Sister Sledge, We Are Family. <clears throat> Regular plain old uh, inner jacket. On a purpley red, purple color uh, cotillion label. So, whatever that means, I don't know. But there's the, here's the, uh, the jack, the, the label. It's just the same on either side, no different color. Uh, but it was, it was a cool find. I like Pointer Sister stuff. Or Pointer Sisters. I'm thinking Pointer Sisters. I've been doing that all day. Sister Sledge, the We Are Family. I love that song. I kind of think that's pretty cool. Kind of an anthem for the 70s. Cool deal. Jacket's in a little rough shape, but nothing a little glue can't fix. So. <clears throat> Next one. Kenny Rogers Christmas. Jacket's a little worse for wear. Got a little rub spot in it. I think. A little ring wear. Inner jacket is really good. In good condition. It's got a got a uh, kind of a Christmas wreath deal going on. A little split at the bottom. But, like I said, it can be glued, taped, whatever. Um, this is KR on the back side. Kind of a Christmas decoration. Kind of a KR deal. Records in good Good shape, good condition record. It's in real good vinyl. So, that'll be neat to listen to around Christmas time. If you like Kenny Rogers, which I do. I like his, uh, I like his early first edition. Is that what it was? Was it first edition? Yeah, new edition. That's Bobby Brown. First edition. I like their stuff. So that'll be cool to listen to. Next one. David, the David Grisman. Rounder album. Now, I looked some info up on this, and it is worth some money. I don't know how much, I, you know, depends on the quality. It's got a cool little bluegrass mandolin on Rounder. Um, kind of tells you, I guess, who else has some records on Rounder that are bluegrass and uh, all that mandolin and banjo and things like that. So that came with it. It's really not just a plain, plain white uh, inner sleeve. Good vinyl. Looks good. I'm sure it'll play well. 
once I get her all cleaned up, I hope. But uh, I got a friend that, that is in a bluegrass band and a local band, <clears throat> so I might send him an an email on it, shoot him an email and ask him about it, see if he's heard of these guys, which I have this guy which I haven't heard of. But I kind of dig bluegrass now and again. Too much is too much, but you know. Neon, the circle. C Y R K L E, circle. Um, got it for twelve dollars. I hope it's worth that at least. Uh, the cover is just like a plasticky, you know, bag cover. Record's in good condition. Uh, it's got a jacket or a, a, a protector on it, which is cool. The record, like I said, it's in. Um, I think the record's in decent shape, really. Yeah. Yeah, it's in it smudges, but decent shape, so that'd be cool. I uh, I don't know anything about neon. I don't think they're from America. They're I, I looked them up today. They're from obviously somewhere else. So anyway, that's that. That's, that's neon. <clears throat> the circle. Let me put the album back in. I hope this video doesn't cut me off. I hope it's not too long. If it is, I guess I'll try it again. Next, we have Roger Williams, Born Free. I looked this one up, too, and it's worth a little bit of money, uh, depending on, you know, the quality. The album itself, the, it's, it's in good shape. The, the jacket is in good shape. The vinyl uh, is in really good, pretty good shape. So, it's not bad. So, I hope, hope maybe it'll do somebody good if I decide to sell it. So, that's that one. Let's do these real quick. Hopefully, Tijuana, uh, Herb Alpert and Tijuana Brass. I know a lot of these go for some pretty good money compared to some others, uh, depending on if they're in good condition. And this one happens to be thick vinyl. Pretty thick. It's not a uh, 180 gram or anything, but it's it, at least I don't think it is. It may be. It's a stereo pressing, a and m but it's got a picture of him sitting in a helicopter or in a small prop, prop plane. Back, of course, it's got pictures and it's going places. So that's the album Going Places, is the album on that one. Um, Stevie Wonder. Now, this is in a little worse for wear, but I, like I said, I think I can tape it or glue it and it'll be okay. Has a pretty cool little, ow, little gatefold cover. Okay, falling apart. Anyway, cool little gatefold cover. Got some African kind of deal. Uh, statue pictures on it. Got uh, lyric sheets on the inside, I think. Yep. All the lyrics are there. The inner jacket's a little beat up. But, like I said, if it plays well, that's the main thing. And it's got some scratches, but it, they don't look to be too bad. I hope that it's not too bad. I, uh, I bought a lot today. And I, I probably bought more than... Bought what I shouldn't have because of the condition. But, I'm new. I can't help it. I don't know what's what. Yet, as I go along, I'll learn. <sighs> Next one, Brian Hyland. Uh, Brian Hyland's been around for a long time. This thing is produced by Del Shannon, who, of course, you know, did the song Runaway. Back in the 60s, 50s and 60s. And he had a tortured life there, you know, toward the end of his life. He ended up taking his own life. Uh, Del Shannon did. The vinyl is a little dusty, a little scratched, but maybe it'll play okay. Might be good for an honest collector. Uh, the jacket is in decent shape. It's got a sticker uh, deal over here. Won't come off. I'm afraid to pull it off because I'll take some of the finish off the album cover. Got another sticker price down here. Like I said, it's in good condition. So, uh, The Moody Blues, Seventh Sojourn. The Moody Blues. I like the Moody Blues. Nights in White Satin is one of my favorite songs by them. Uh, of course, this song isn't that song is not on this, but it's got some the the outer sleeves got some water damage or something age damage or whatever. Uh, the inner vinyl is actually pretty decent. It's got smudges, little tiny scratches, but they don't look deep scratches. Um, but anyway, it's it, it's a I think. Let's see. It usually, yeah, it's 
got a cool, got a regular old cover on it, inner cover. It's got lyrics printed on the lyric sheet. Um, anybody that's got, anybody that likes uh, the Moody Blues probably already has this album. So, like I said, you can probably tell me more about it than I than I'll ever find out. Jacket's a little torn up. Not bad. Not bad. Glue is a wonder. Glue is a wonderful thing. So, there's that. Uh, the next one is in a Ziploc uh, bag. Was. I took it out. Uh, it's Judy Collins. Best of. Uh, Colors of the Day. Best of Judy Collins. Cool. Cool deal. I like, I like Judy Collins. She's pretty awesome. <clears throat> Uh, got a lyric sheet or a, a song list on the inside. Um, and then it's got a little red, uh, a letter uh, that was written by her. Put it on the album jacket, inner jacket. The uh, vinyl's in good condition, which is really cool. Nice, nice deal. Um, so hopefully that'll be a good one. I like Judy Collins. I like that. Uh, what is it? Both sides now. I think it's the name of that song. And I'm sure it's on here if it's the best of, because I know that was a big hit for um, Both Sides Now. Yeah, it's on here. It's got Sunday Soon, Since You Asked, Both Sides Now, Son, Sons of, uh, Suzanne, Farewell to Tarwathi, whatever. Who Knows Where the Time Goes, Sunny, Sunny Good Street, My Father, Albatross, In My Life, that's an awesome song. I'd be interested to hear her version. Uh, it's the Beatles, by the way. Uh, amazing and Amazing Grace. So she ends with a, a spiritual, uh, religious song. So that's cool. But anyway, Judy Collins, she's pretty cool. This one is this is now this one may bring some money. I don't know. It's uh, Leon Russell Carney. I don't know how much it might bring, but it's in it's it's. We're still wrapped up. The wrap's kind of half gone, but the record's in decent shape. It's got a little scratch on it, but not bad. Um, but anyway, regular old, just plain old white inner sleeve. Pretty cool deal. <clears throat> Southland Brothers and Quiver. Reach for the Sky. I, I don't know. I don't know anything about the Southland Brothers. Sutherland Brothers, excuse me, Sutherland Brothers. It's on Columbia, I can tell you that much. Uh, it looks to be in really good shape. Got the jacket with it. It's just a plain white. I believe it's just a plain, plain white jacket. Yeah, just plain white. Nothing special. No, nothing fancy on the jacket. Okay. My internet's crap, so hopefully it will not take too long to upload this. It probably will, though. Just saying. Okay. Summer of 42 by Roger Williams. Uh, the record's really got a little thin scratches. Not bad. Um, it's, a, it's a stereo. I don't know what that says. Three, 30 uh, stereo pressing. Uh, anybody that has Roger Williams might know a little more about it than I can. Than I can discover. So any help would be awesome. On Cap Records, K-A-P-P. Cap Records. <clears throat> um, Gary Wright. Now, Gary Wright, that, you know, of course, Dreamweaver, that big song. That's the one I can think of. Good condition vinyl. Um, inner white sleeve. It's got a picture of him on or It's got a picture on it. I don't know who. I guess it's a, it's a street scene uh, picture on it. You see it there. Street scene. Uh, the vinyl, like I said, vinyl's in pretty decent shape. Uh, or reprise Lost Leaders uh, on the back cover. Just some other, I guess, albums by other artists on one of reprise. So, that's a cool, cool deal. Cool find. I like Gary Wright. I think he's pretty awesome. I don't know if, yeah, Dreamweaver's on this thing, so. This must be where the, this, the Dreamweaver. Oh, it's, it is the Dreamweaver album. Cool. I love that song. <clears throat> Okay, Kenny Loggins, Alive. It's a double album. Gatefold. Got pictures of Loggins on it. His band. Things like that. But uh, the album's in really good shape. The cover, it's got a little ring wear. 
I won't lie. The album's in pretty good shape, little scratches, not bad. Uh, it's on, uh, I don't know. Doesn't, doesn't say, oh, Columbia. It's on Columbia. So that's cool. I like Kenny Loggins. I think he's pretty awesome. <clears throat> Next is, uh, The Weavers. Carnegie Hall. Hey, buddy. Talk me into buying this one. It's in, the jacket's in dreadful shape. And there is no inner cover. Uh, but the album itself is probably playable. It's got some, it's old. So it's got some surface smudge, surface, uh, scratches, some smudges, some, you know, all that good stuff that comes with owning the records and, you know, not taking care of them for ever. <clears throat> but it's Carnegie Hall, uh, the Weavers at Carnegie Hall. Uh, it's got Pete Seeger in it, which a buddy of mine said that Pete Seeger was big into music back in the day, so I don't really don't know. It's on Vanguard Records. So, a little beat up, but whatever. I don't know. Okay, the, the Disney recording soundtrack of Bed Knobs and Broomsticks. <laughs> I don't know anything about how much uh, soundtracks are worth, but, you know, it's uh, it doesn't have the inner jacket, I don't think, but the album is pretty decent. It's got some smudges and dust and stuff, but the album's pretty decent shape, so maybe it'll be worth some good. Cool. I'm, we're almost done here. We got Man on the Moon. Now this is a NBC News, I think, just a an interview album. Got picture walking on the moon, dudes on the moon there. Then on the back side, it's got pictures of all three of the astronauts. Influential. Um, which will be this will be pretty neat to listen to. I think it's got an inner, got a little one or got. A little page booklet, got a, got some info on the book, things like that. Um, but the, uh, the record is in good shape. It's that's gonna, this is going to be kind of fun to to listen to. If you're a space nut, you know you might really like it. But uh, so yeah, uh, Pete Townsend. Uh, Chinese Eyes. Uh, oh. I don't know what this says. I can't tell. I can't tell what that says. It says, uh, all the best cowboys have, all the best cowboys have Chinese eyes. It's on Atco. 1982. Uh, I don't know much about this album. I don't know much about any albums, really, so I might have to have help. It's a gatefold. Cool build, little gatefold in it. That's pretty neat. Yeah, okay. Got uh, got a story, uh, I guess, on the side, on the inside, or maybe it's lyrics. I don't, I don't really know. <clears throat> so, it's in good shape. Next one is Eyes of Laura Mars. It's a movie soundtrack. It's got Barbara Streisand on it, Casey and the Sunshine Band, Odyssey, Michael, uh, Mikulski, Over. O Uverstein, huh. Art, Artie, Artie Kane, and Michael Zager Band. So it's a, it's a, it's a gate, I believe, yeah, it's gate full. Got some pretty cool pictures on the inside. God, this is getting a long video. Anyway, it's got a gate fold cover on the inside. Got some pictures of it, on the movie, of the movie on it. I guess, or models or something. I guess it's models. Anyway, good, good find. Uh, I don't know how the album is. I haven't looked at it really. <sighs> it's in good shape. Yeah, it, it looks to be decent. You know, I welcome all questions, any and all. It, so, if my video is too long, please tell me. I ramble all the time. So, hopefully, I'm not boring people. Uh, the uh, covers and little worse for wear. I mean, it's it's not banged up or anything, but it's got a tear a tear in it. So I can put put some tape on it, it'll be okay. Getting down to the end here. We'll just bust through these real quick. Another berry antelope. Said I had another one in there. The cover is bad. <laughs> Cover's bad. To the point that you can barely see what it says on the front. The back you can see you can tell what it says. The back's got 
uh, li- uh, song list on it. The record's actually in decent shape, so hopefully it will be, and the cover won't matter as much. I don't know. But anyway, it's Barry Manilow. If uh, if I should leave, if I should love again, is Barry Manilow. Manilow fans would love will love that. Another Kenny Rogers is simply called Kenny. Uh, it's got a lot of good good tracks on it. It's on the United Artists album, so it's got a good inner sleeve. Got that on the inner sleeve, of course. And it's got some other Kenny Rogers uh, albums, I guess, on the same label. It's got a join the Kenny Rogers fan club on it. So anybody that wants to do that, better get on that. As you know, he looks like a plate of his own fried chicken now. He's had a facelift and tanning. So, Paul Young, no parallels. Whatever. Paul Young, I don't know who, I have no idea who that is. Uh, somebody can tell me. Um, record, you know, inner jackets, just white and plain. The vinyl is in good, good condition. Good condition vinyl, so that'd be pretty cool. I don't know who Paul Young is. He is there, I think it was a song called Hungry Eyes. And that might not be him, but I don't know. I haven't looked. No. Well, if it's him, it's not on here. So. But I'm thinking Hungry Eyes was Paul Young. And I like that song, so. This will be a cool listen. I hope. Hopefully it will be anyway. Okay. Next and finally. Da 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 da. Uh, the Brothers Four. Honey Wind Blows. The Honey Wind Blows. It's a mono pressing on Columbia. It's got most of the uh, cellophane on it. I assume there's really the original cellophane because it'd be hard to put that on uh, again. Uh, the inner jacket is just clear plastic. It's just a clear plastic. It's on the Columbia label. Um, it's a mono pressing. So it's in good shape. That'd be fun. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know who these guys are, so it'd be interesting to hear them and see what, what they sound like. I may never want another Brothers 4 album again. <clears throat> but there's bound to be somebody that would like them if I don't. So that wraps it up. Uh, I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you've done a lot of cool record hunting today. I look forward to looking at all the new videos today from today, from today and continue to look, look at some more. Um, anyway, it's awesome going out, having fun, checking out stuff, and, uh, I will see you all next time. Peace.